Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about Tiny Tank from Brain Gun. So this is a 144 scale armor kit, as you can see it copies Mark IV male British World War I tank and yes 144 scale, so it will be really tiny and you can see that box fits on my palm, so it should give you some idea and I think, yes, it's written here that this is a resin kit, so basically this this box hints on the total size of this tank, but obviously we will open it and check what is inside. And you can see the picture of the finished kit here on the box art. By the way, kit number is 144056 and we have a commercial sample here, so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review. So we are going to open it together and check what is supplied inside. As for the boxing, I say that the size is really tiny. Here on the side you can see website of the manufacturer. And on the rear side we have some safety devices, address of the manufacturer, and that's pretty much all. So there are no seals in form of tape, as you can see it is easy to open. And inside we get really tight fitment, but I don't think that something will arrive to you in a damaged condition, because usually brain gun is a quite, I would say, safe or quite cautious on the packaging, so usually everything arrives more or less intact. And from what I can see at the first sight, tank will be really tiny. So here we have resin parts. We also have assembly manual, which was wrapped around these components. Why I'm saying components? Because here we have another plastic bag with PE thread. And there is also decal sheet, by the way. So we are going to start with resin parts. And as usual, we will gradually move to other components of this set as well. Everything for the resin parts, everything is packed into a resealable plastic bag, so it should be easy to open. And I'm glad that Brain Gun started using these bags instead of staples. As you remember, before everything was closed with staples, now we get it in form of easy to open packaging and in the meantime let me also remind you that you can support us financially we have a special donate button on our website and of course you will be the one who will decide how much we will get it's all done via paypal so it will be safe and quick and of course i will be thankful for every donation because it will help us grow and now in this situation when my pc is broken again it's already one week past and so I will be using these donations in order to improve my equipment in order to avoid such breakages. So here are what I'm holding in the fingers, as you can see this is a main how, just give me a second, something... Uh, I think that's a resin flash. So, as I said, this is a main how, maybe we can zoom in even further. And it is casted as a single piece part, but something is off, right? So here you can see these tabs, they will be serving as a guiding element for the sides of this tank. They are not casted here, and we only have the top and I would say bottom features. That's pretty much all you get on this part. And note that there are small uh, holes, tiny holes. I think it will be easy to fix them with a primer, but still there are some air bubbles which you have to keep track of this, but it's quite tiny, I would say, block of resin parts, so maybe that's why we have this, and I don't think that it will be visible on the finished kit, but it's something what might be, I would say, surprising for some others, that's why I'm noting it, because there is no point in hiding such things. Next, we continue with the side. I would say pontons, so here you can see that they are molded or casted as a single piece parts. Here we have these recessed slots, which will be actually combined with this part. So here you can see that they will make it easier to get the right alignment. Now finally camera is focused, so you can understand what I'm talking about. So basically you just insert one two into another and you will be good to go. As for the tracks, they are also pre-casted, let's say here, so you won't have to deal with any minor parts. And here external features, they look really good. We have rivets, we have panel lines, so it's just a matter of careful assembly and also maybe painting and weathering. Note that here we have empty part for the side turrets. Why? Because they are also casted as a separate parts. And I will show them in a second. So here they are. And they look really good. So again we have rivets 
and rivets are quite pronounced here so they won't get lost under several layers of paint and primer. Of course all guns are fixed in position so you won't be able to move them much but it would be strange to expect such feature in this set. Next we continue with the rear bar, here it is. It is also casted as a single piece part. And now it's really interesting how the chains will be replicated. I guess with P parts, but we are not done with the resin parts because we also have some uh, minor elements, really thin parts for the main barrel and also for the side guns, as you can see here. They, are, they look okay, let's not forget that this is a 144 scale set, that's why they're so tiny and of course it would be a wise idea to do this operation on something I would say where you can easily find these parts because then it will be eaten by a carpet monster and it will be really difficult to find it. Next we continue with P parts and here we get this packaging with paper clip. So, or with staple if you prefer, just give me a second to tear it apart because I don't see any other possible way how to open this really strange way of packaging. Okay, so I opened it. Let's take out the P fret and decal shit. Okay, so first of all we have unpainted P fret and we also have decal sheet. I will place them like this so that you can check them simultaneously. These are unpainted parts so it will be easy to cover them in whatever paint shade you prefer and maybe to do some weathering on them. This is a typical brain gun product so there is nothing to worry about in a quality wise. So I think it's just a matter of careful installation because some parts are really tiny as you can see here in comparison with my fingertip. This is 144 scale so it's not surprising that we have such sizes here. And next we continue with assembly manual. So this one is printed in black and white. There is no history note. You will have to search for some references by yourself because manufacturer did not include anything. As you can see everything starts with the parts map. Then we begin assembly. So you have to combine these hull parts together. As you can see this central tab will be actually used to position everything properly and get the right alignment. Next we continue by using the P parts. Also there will be well, actually a lot of P parts have to go onto this main hull and that's something what will ensure that this model won't look empty, even 144 scale brain gun decided to copy some main features which will be visible on the model and I think that's really cool because it will make your model a bit more realistic. And here we continue again with P parts, we install the side turrets as you can see into these special plane spots, again some barrels get installed here and there. And what is next? Next we have painting guide. So that's the first marking option and it is black and white obviously so you have to search for some reference materials in order to understand how to paint it. Maybe there will be some weathering ideas as well. But this is a tank from November 1917 from France and here we have second marking option. This one I think they captured tank so it's also uh, France. It's a Ford de, Pom de la Pompel, 1918, and it's Abteilung 14. As you can see, really interesting camouflage, by the way. So, all in all, we get really tiny tank. It should be already available, and in my opinion, price is reasonable for such detailed set. So, in case you are tired with big scales and you would like to try something different, definitely check this kit, because it will offer you... A really interesting experience maybe for weekend I can say because some experienced modelers can do this. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such release. Write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel because it will help us greatly and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!